welcome to this new topic and in this topic we will going to talk about sets sets are another type of uh, of variable holder or a collection holder like we have seen arrays we have seen the dictionaries tuples in the previous video and uh, the only difference or that there are a couple of difference but one of the major differences uh, it does not have the duplicate elements for example in array or in dictionary you can have the duplicate elements but in sets you cannot have the duplicate elements also it's not really required a particular order for example we have seen like in in case of dictionaries or in case of array there is a bit of an order like r1 2 3 and all but in this case the it's not an ordered list or it's not an ordered collection uh, that you need to maintain so let's go ahead and see how you can create the sets so for example we are we are working in a sports company and we want to have the information of all the sports brands so for that let's create a set and to create it it's very straightforward like you see set and then open and closing bracket afterwards you need to make sure you are inside it and mention the name of the brand for example you have adidas you have nike you have puma and uh, you have reebok all right so these are the four different names order is not there also they are not duplicate and they are uh, well set for the sets and set when you once you create it you can execute it it will create a set for you and show you yeah the set has been created and now let's see how you can perform some of the common operations like uh, searching for a value like we have seen it in the dictionary and all and we will see later how uh, useful they are and different they are from the other collections so stay tuned for that so first thing is checking whether the a particular brand is present or not so for example the in function if i open and close bracket the small brackets in, in within the in function you need to first write the string that you need to search so maybe one of the brand here in india that is like a growing brand is hrx and we want to see whether this brand is present in our set or not let's say our set is really long maybe 50 or 70 or 100 different brands that it has across the world and we want to see a particular brand that is there or not so first is writing the string which is hrx and then writing the set sports underscore brands by doing that brands and it says false so clearly you know when you are in the front of the screen not writing a code like this but you have created a system they will give the information okay hrx is not present that means here in the false in the programming language but you can always format it we will see it in later videos how you can do that but this clearly indicates that this is not present and if i see in and i see nike i want to check whether the nike is present or not just make sure that it's in double quotation i earlier wrote it in a single quotation and it was not right so now sports underscore brands and it will give us the true because it indicates that the nike is part of our collection that uh, that we are uh, that we have set it over there so this way you can check the condition and process it according to the requirement of the business logic now let's say let's create another list which is sports underscore brands underscore let's say india the brands which are present in india or maybe the famous brand which is in india um, so definitely adidas um, we have nike and then we have hrx as one of the brands i personally like it though, so that's why i'm mentioning it but why i have created it so that i can show you some of the set operations that's like uh, your class eighth seventh or eighth class uh, in terms of education you you were in class seven or class eight and that's where i believe i i read the set theory that means how you can do the union intersection you know find out the common elements all that sort of things so that's what i will going to do so we have 
total brand list or the global brand list and we have the brand list specific to India. Now let's see how we can first of all join it with the help of union. So union what it does is it basically takes both the list and uh, create a new list but it does not take the duplicates. For example it will have Reebok, Nike, Puma, Adidas and HRX from both the lists. So union and the first sports underscore brands I press the tab and that's why this information or the drop down is in front of me so I will press enter for sports brand and I will again I write SPOR and tab and enter and now let's see so union is done we have now Reebok Nike Puma HRX and Adidas so that's how you can do the union and let's say create a new string or maybe set save it in a sports brand by having it prior to this but i'm just showing you the function and that you can implement it later in your program so after that what we have is the intersect intersect what does it do can you remember from your class eight theory well let's see sports brand and sport brand india and let's do Nike and Adidas. So what it has done is it has checked both the list and just gave us the the column or the values which are available in both the list. So Nike and sorry Nike and Adidas. Nike and Adidas. It has restricted or removed the Puma, Reebok and HRX from the list. So this way you can create a list which are common and uh, uh, common to both the list and do some business logic processing. Um, afterward you have the set difference set diff and let's see what it will do sports brand and sport brand India all right. So set diff simply like any other function you will go ahead and do that and what it does is it basically the give me the list of items from the first list which are not present in the second list. So if I just go ahead and do that Reebok and Puma right. Similarly if I want to reverse this set diff sports brand India I want to mention that first and then sports brand it will only give me HRX because HRX is only present here uh, and not in this list and in the first case Puma and uh, Reebok were present only in the first list but not in the second list that's why you got the uh, Reebok and Puma so that's how basically you can uh, you can go ahead and use these union intersect and set difference afterwards you have I want to show you one other thing for example you want to add a new element for example HRX let's say has become a global brand maybe because I love it so HRX now you want to add it over here so sports brand right so you the, the function for that is push exclamation sign and sports sport brands and the new element I want to add is HRX that's why I want to push the sports brand into the HRX all right let's go ahead and now my sports brand has the HRX into it so that way I can do all of these different operations there are definitely operations like remove update and whatnot it's, it's like a long list like I mentioned for other um, topics that it, it's a whole big list of operations that you can perform you may probably find the um, documentation uh, below there in the description about all of this and uh, you can you can get more advantage of it but the basic idea is that you are up and running with all of these different commands that we have related to the sets so so basically just to you know make sure that we, you are doing the data operations on the list or the array you need to create a set and with that you can perform union you can search the string you can do the intersection set the difference and do the push so that's pretty much about it the sets uh, i would really recommend that you read more about it because that's very interesting and very very commonly used 
within the real life programs and that will going to eventually help a lot when you are actually building some program within the Julia and getting advantage of it so that's that's about it and i will now meet you in the next topic